Uphill Tutorial Part 42 The Require Function You can include a module or another script in your current script by using the require function which is really useful so I want to demonstrate that in this tutorial so first I just like to print block of code. Now just pretend this is a big block of code and we've got a script that's a thousand lines long and we want to take a piece of our code and put it into a, a different script so we can work with it and then we can bring it into our current script with the require function. So I'll now create a variable called second. Now at this stage of the script we're going to require a file that we're going to make in a minute. Okay, so let's save this script. Now I'd like to create a new file called file.cgi and save it into the same directory as this script. So if you do the same, okay, we have a brand new script here and this is the file we're going to require. Now I'd like you to remove these two lines so we just have the very first line of the script because this script is going to be required from the other script and we already have those two lines so all we need to do is tell the script that it's a Perl script. Now first of all I'd like to print our variable second block of code and then in the script create a variable called third equals third and now I'll just simply save the script in the same directory is our other script. So we have our main script here and then we have our new script in the same directory. Okay so let's come back to our first script. Make sure that is all saved. We're going to print our first block of code. Just imagine these are big blocks of code with hundreds of lines. We've got a variable called second we're going to require our file.cgi and then we're going to print out our third block of code where we have a variable called third that gets introduced from our required file.cgi. So let's run the script and see what we get. And there we have our first block of code our second block of code which comes in from our required file here we have our variable called third that gets put into the script and we get printed out third block of code that is the function require and the point really being is that the file that you require is loaded in at runtime, so it will be treated as if it is a part of the script, and therefore you can introduce new variables from the new script, and kind of they can feed each other information. So 
require is very useful when you have configuration files. So that's how we use require.